Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add glowing borders to your elemental widgets. So sit back, relax, hit that like and subscribe button and let's get into the video. Okay, to get things started, the first thing I'm going to do is add a new section to our page. And I'm going to add this section in between two spaces. And this is for no other reason than to make it easier for you to see on this page. With our section added, I'm going to select three columns to add to this section. And in the middle column, I'm going to drag in a header widget. With our heading widget added, the next thing I'm going to do is get our page color. And we can find that by clicking on the gear icon in the bottom left hand corner. Then we need to click style in the top left. Now I'm going to select our color picker and copy our color. I'm now going to select our heading and on the title box on the left hand side you can enter in your text. I'm going to leave this as it is but I am going to center align it. I'm now going to select our advanced tab on the top left and I'm going to change our padding to 10. You can change this to whatever best suits your page. Once you're done, select CSS Classes and type in Block. Now we're going to click on Background, select Classic and choose our colour picker. And in the bottom box, we're going to paste in our page colour. I'm now going to add our custom CSS code. You do need Elementor Pro to add custom CSS code to your page. If you haven't got Elementor Pro, there is a link in the top of the description. Click on custom CSS on the left hand side and paste in the code that you can find in the description below. Because we added our CSS classes name, you'll notice that our border has already started to glow. Before I get into too much detail, I am going to change the color of our text in our box. And we can do that by clicking on style in the top row on the left hand side, selecting the color picker and choosing white. Now we're going to go back into the advanced tab in the top left hand side and select custom CSS and this time we're going to start customizing the colors of our glow. If we scroll down our code we can find the words red, white and blue and this is where we can add our own colors. I'm going to highlight our red and I'm going to replace it with green. As soon as I finish typing that in it will automatically update our code. We can add any color we like here so I'm going to highlight the blue and replace it with black. Once again, it will automatically update and we can add as many colors as we like here. All we need to do is add a comma behind the last color and start typing in our new color. So for this, I've typed in yellow. And as you can see, we've got the white, black, yellow and green. You can also add hex codes to match in with your site's branding. If you want to remove the border from the box, all you need to do is go into layout at the top left hand side and change the margin to minus two. This will remove the solid border and leave you with the glow. It's not just headings we can add this glow to. Any widget you can add CSS to, we can add this glow as a background. So what if we wanted to add this glow to an icon box? We would need to go back into our page settings and style and get our background color for our page. I'm going to speed this part of the video up. Once I've got the color of my background, I'm going to add all the sections that I need to drop in my icon box. Once that's been added, we're going to click on the advanced tab in the top left hand side, select background and classic, and we're going to paste in the background color of our page. Then we're going to click on layout in the top left and select CSS classes and type in block. If you haven't already used the code on your page, you will need to go into custom CSS and paste in the code. You would also have to paste in the code if you wanted to change the colors and have it separate from the other text box. You would need a new CSS class name and change that within the code. Either way, you can start changing your margins and your padding, then you can go into your content tab and start changing your text. Once you're done with your text, you can then go into your style tab and start changing the colors of your font and your icons. Once you've finished making all your changes, all you need to do to preview your page is click on the preview button next to the update button on the bottom left hand side. And as you can see, the effect does look really good on the page. Now you might be thinking, yep, it looks great, but I don't have a black background on my website and neither do I want one. Now with my code, it doesn't matter what your page color is. It works with all colors. The only difference being is the end overall effect may not stand out as well. To get the best effect, try to use contrasting colors. I will show you the slight changes that you will need to make if you're using a different page color. So what you'll need to do is click on the gear icon in the bottom left hand 
corner and click on style in the top left. I'm going to select on the color picker and slowly change the color of our page. As you can see the borders are still glowing but the background of our boxes are not changing. You'll also notice that the lighter the page gets some of the actual colors of the glow won't stand out as much. Once you have chosen the color of your page, you're gonna to need to copy the hex code. And this is what you're gonna to use to change the background colors of your icon box and your heading widget. Paste those into your color palette and that will match it to the background of your page. You can also add this code to a button. When you do that, you will need to change the layout to inline. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to add glowing borders to your Elementor web page. Remember that if you do want to use the CSS custom code, you will need Elementor Pro. If you haven't got Elementor Pro, there is a link at the top of the description. It is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more to use, but it does give me a very small percentage of Elementor's profits if you choose to sign up. If you have got any questions, feel free to come and hit me up in the comments box below. Don't forget, if you have found this video useful please do hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching